Hello, I'm Jashikins. Welcome to another little random vlog. As you can tell, my hair has been cut. Yay! Anyways, today I'm going to talk about two parts from Lone Survivor, which I saw recently, and you know, the movie nominated for maybe a award or two during the Oscars, stars Mark Wahlberg, and is based on a true story. Plus, the title is a dead giveaway. <laughs> and it, anyways, in all seriousness, there were basically two parts of the movie that bugged me. The first was the opening credits. Now, I can see the point of the opening credits was to say, hey, here are what these people go through during training. You know, respect them. I get that, but I don't think they follow that opening credit sequence followed any of the main characters. So it's like, yes, that's interesting. That is nice to see. It's good, to, nice to show people that. On the other hand, this, you know, you're making a film, not a fucking documentary. So it's like, why should I care about this? if it doesn't feature any of the m main cast and if you're going to show footage of the real people then at least yeah I don't know if that was the point or not if it was just like random <laughs> so it's just like why it's just like it's it's nice but really why why I really really don't know so if they filmed that with the main cast you know okay I say maybe it's a little boring, but at least you know we're following the main cast and we can see how they grew up to be who they are in the movie. The second thing I had a problem with was, you know, this is, I know this is the type of movie that will have pictures of the real people and maybe a little bit of facts and this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. And they do that, but they also include these these like pieces of home video. It was like, okay, I can get you know showing the people, but you know as the theatrical cut, why have so why elongate it so much if you already have a lot of people to show the real people of why do you make have to make it extra long with parts of like home movies uh, what's the real point there because it was just like it's boring without point my favorite movie is 2001 a space odyssey so i know that just because something is slow doesn't mean it's bad and that you should hate it but at the same time There are points when things are boring without a reason. It's like you're just trying to be nice and artsy. I can really tell you're trying, but you're fucking failing. You're, it doesn't seem artsy. It, it seems artsy, but it's boring. And if you want to slow down, you know, from the ending, take it slowly. But it was just, I mean, if you do want to show that respect to the people, here, just just hear me out. Here's an idea. We have Blu-rays and DVDs in this day and age. So if you felt that was still important, add it as a bonus feature on like the Blu-ray because people tend to get Blu-rays for the bonus features, not just for the film itself, but you know, gag reels, commentaries, etc. So you'd be able to, as putting it in as a special feature, you would be giving it to the audience that actually really gives a shit. Because, you know, uh, maybe the people you know, watching the movie got some interest, but you know, weren't that interested enough to see home videos. <laughs> and I mean, some people might have come in because Mark Wahlberg. So yeah. That's, that was something that should have been left on the cu cutting room floor 
and put on like an extra and a Blu-ray because that was that was so fucking boring. I was like, when's the credits coming? When is this ever going to end? So, if you're wondering about my whole review of the movie, I don't re review every movie I see. I tend to like to review every theatrical release and sometimes, you know, movies I watch at home. Um, the normal heart being one, but uh, for like every normal heart there will be uh, The Conjuring movie I didn't review on my blog, so yeah. Anyways, I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go there, you can see random vlogs like this, let's plays, fan fiction, original series, like a bunch of stuff. And on the sidebar of my blog will be everywhere else I am on the web. So say you want to, you know, talk to me on Twitter or Tumblr, you'll have the links to those. And finally, I've been getting back into Donate Your Account. And what Donate Your Account is, if you donate your Facebook and Twitter account, I can post to your, to your account either once a day, once a week, or once a month. I'm only going to be using this for my blog. You know, so if you s see this vlog and you check out my vlog and you're like, hey, this seems really cool, she should have a bigger audience, you can donate your account and help me to expand. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be in the description. If you're on my blog, on the sidebar thingy, you can have a link to that. So, until next video, goodbye.